What's up, creative community? Welcome back to the Coach MC Studio. Today, it's our art day. So we took ourselves a little bit out of the system. We took a day off to kind of indulge with beautiful art here at the PAM, the Paris Arts Museum in Miami. A wonderful building built by master architect Renzo Piano. And he created a wonderful, very modern, but also very quiet and great space um, that hopefully hosts a lot of great art as well because I need some art once in a while. I need some paintings. I need some colors. I need some inspiration. I need to get out of my usual, you know, routines and kind of, you know, fuel up my mental cells, kind of, you know, regain focus on what really matters, which is always great art. So hopefully this tour will help you also to get a bit inspired. If you like the tour, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and also a comment in the comment section down below. And now without any further ado, let's jump into this art adventure today here at the Pan Museum in Miami and let's see what's cooking. I love museums, exhibitions, galleries, art. I just can't get enough of it. I'm totally addicted to art. There are just very few things I can't get enough of and art is definitely that centerpiece like the sun in our solar system around which everything kind of you know revolves and evolves also. Here's a funny thing, when I started coaching 10 years ago, I loved it and immediately caught on fire because I had the feeling that I could express so many of my you know, previous experiences of being an artist, of being an actor, of being a street artist into the coaching endeavor. At the same time, I also, when I started realizing that this now has become a job, a profession and a vocation, there was an immense pressure building up inside of myself. I can't even imagine how much sometimes I felt like this weight upon my shoulders to have all the answers ready for my students, for my clients, because to me, being a coach comes also, you know, with a lot of responsibility. I love being a coach and I love talent. I love to see how talent develops. And therefore, in the beginning, I thought I needed to have all the answers ready to give all the instruments to be the artist, not only the coach. And of course, that's a ludicrous idea. It's very stupid. And this is not what coaching should be for, right? Sometimes, and that I just understood over time, it's just listening. Sometimes it's collaborating, right? Or co-creating or co-producing. But it's not me that needs to have all the answers. And the students that are coming to the Coach MC studio, they don't need to have all the answers as well. Because art is never about having all the answers. It's about searching for questions searching for something unexpected, actually looking out for the mistakes. So it's quite the opposite. It's actually antagonistic to having all the answers, is to be ready to not knowing anything, to be ready to jump into darkness and to kind of explore of what you don't know, because that is, you know, the place where great art comes from. And every time I felt stuck in this process of, you know, <laughs> having that pressure and stuck with, oh my God, you know, I'm getting money for delivering a product, right? And so therefore I need to produce something outstanding, which of course is nice. I mean, of course we want to be outstanding and remarkable all the time, but that's not realistic. And this is not what great art and great collaboration should be there for. I feel that this is at least my opinion or at least what I have experienced so far as an actor for over 35 years and as being this coach as well for over 10 years now. So what is it then? It is to have a companion, like Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. You need a companion for your art. Sometimes your companion is the pencil, sometimes it's a canvas. It's not about executing and bringing a result. And the same thing is true for the coaching endeavor. It's, it's not as result-driven as my, many people might think. Sometimes it's also okay to be patient and to wait for a breakthrough, for the knot to be severed by the sword for coming up with a different idea, a different product. And that sometimes can take, you know, a couple of sessions, sometimes a couple of months, sometimes even years. Sometimes it happens quite immediately. So when I felt this pressure mounting up inside of myself, and that was kind of increasingly becoming also a problem for me, like, oh, I have to do something, right? Because, you know, people are giving me a good amount of money for, for being the coach. So what is it that I'm actually doing if I'm not, you know, delivering all the answers, if I'm not coming up with an extraordinary idea, if it's not my, my instrument that helps the creator to kind of, you know, perform in a remarkable way? What is it then that, that I'm actually doing? And I realized every time I felt this way, I needed to go to an exhibition, to a gallery. 
I needed to absorb some art, you know, just looking at a building for a couple of hours, going to a museum or just painting myself. Because every time I felt like in this being stuck mode, it was just me being stuck in that system of being that mechanical functioning type of gear instead of being a creator, right? Instead of, you know, always executing and giving something immediately, just being there and listening and trying to, to be fertile with my thoughts, with my tension, with my, with my concentration and giving that fertile soil to the student as well so he could plant his seed and be you know, productive and proactive and producing something extraordinary. So it's about like cross-polluting each other, like infecting us with, with that fertile mental soil, if you want to call it so. And a couple of years ago, we recorded this video at the Max Museum in Rome, which was built by Zara Hadid and her team. It's a great building. And we thought, you know, about like creating a video that could help people like to, to get ideas by just watching beautiful stuff, right? Beautiful art, great shapes, great form, great silhouettes, great colors already kind of inspire you. And they get you out of that functional gear mode, that mode of being a mechanical executor of something instead of just being also a listener and observer. And today here at this beautiful museum, this is what we're doing after a hard week of working of collaborating of network of creating of shooting many videos we wanted to get inspired again to get out of that mechanical mental state and to be again like observant and also like wanderers right wanderers of the art and and, and not always being there to deliver an answer but maybe to look out for a question so whenever you feel stuck look out for the question instead of you know focusing hardcore and delivering some answers whenever you feel like there is this obstacle hindering you from expressing yourself then step out of your habitual zone what you're always doing because if you're always stuck in a place you won't probably find the answers to the problems from the place that you're coming from maybe you need to jump into another place to get some inspiration and then jump back into your principal thought into your initial thought and this is what we're doing today hope you're having fun and if you did let us know subscribe and join the tribe and now you're ready to perform.